Hi everyone, it's Rosie here to talk, talk about a topic that comes up quite often on my uh, channel and particularly with a lot of the uh, letters I get. And I guess if I had to uh, categorize the letters and pick the topic that I get the most mail about, it'll be men, well, uh, men in the sense that they still live their lives as men. They may cross dress or they might be uh, transvestites and enjoy the thrill of dressing up as women, which I think is, is wonderful and it's a great way to express yourself. But a lot of them write me about taking the next step and they'll send photographs of themselves. They'll send photographs of themselves dressed and they'll ask me, they'll say, Rosie, what do you think? Should I transition? Sometimes I'll write back and I'll say, what do you mean by transition? Well, should I start hormones? Should I start a new life apart from my life now? And uh, one thing I always encourage the girls to do, if they're, and I consider them girls at that point, if they have that dysphoria where they imagine and, and uh, perceive and want to perceive and be a woman, one thing I write back to them is you have to consider all the consequences what you're doing and I get letters from uh, guys that, that feel those pangs of dysphoria and it does not matter what age you are the dysphoria strikes you you know sometimes it can be latent and come on you late in life but it can be just as strong as the dysphoria you get when you're younger and uh, you know we know many young transitioning gals like Nicole G and you know, she fell beautifully into that and she, she realized this is what I want to do. This is who I am. And she's having a wonderful transition. But the point is you have to know what you're giving up. Transitioning is a trade-off. And a lot of times the price to pay is brutal. And I don't say that in the sense of trying to scare anybody or anything like that. I say that in the sense of warning you that it is not an easy journey to undertake. Now, when you decide to change your gender, you're effectively pulling yourself out of the slot that you've lived in and presented as all your life, pulling it totally out of that slot and trying your best to put it into another slot. And it's almost as impressive as a magic trick and a lot of times it's almost as hard to pull off so you've got to know before you start the journey what the pitfalls of that are first and foremost and we've discussed it here and there on channels and we you know we hit the topic here and there but you've got to understand what you could potentially be giving up if you are married for example you took a vow for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, and until death do his part. You know, what does the vow mean to you if you're already married and you have these pangs and these urges and these, these voices that, that drive you crazy and just say, I need to be who I need to be. I've got to be me. You know, what are you prepared to give up in the way of your marriage in my particular case my wife it was a no-brainer she said you know what I didn't sign up for this uh, I didn't sign up for this cruise so uh, bye and then it became a matter with uh, two daughters of fighting and struggling and year after year to incorporate them back into my life it was hellish and it was something that you know, as often as I've said before, ha having me standing on the edge of a railing of the Golden Gate Bridge, contemplating the quick 10 second end to my life. It's not just family, it's also health. Are you healthy enough to transition? You know, a lot of girls start HRT therapy and they develop blood clots and they have to get off of the HRT. And uh, by that time, you know, I want to say their cover's blown. They've come out to everybody. This is who I want to be, to family, to friends, to co-workers. Uh, and then now that's all for naught. 
and you think to yourself, gee, if I live in my male mode again, they will never see me the same way as they did before I made my announcement. You know, it's very difficult. I knew a local gal named Lisa that, that came out to her job and everything and was grand and happy and she started her hormones and within two weeks, two, excuse me, two months, she developed a life-threatening blood clot and had to be on blood thinners and everything else. And now, sadly, cross-dresses when she can. She's lost her family. She's lost her job because she announced what she wanted to be and it did not work out for her. Just something else to consider. By far, though, apart from the emotional issues, is you have to be able to support yourself. From the anecdotal evidence that I see, and anecdotal means it's not scientifically collected and aggregated. It's just what I see through observation. And I would say about 20% of the girls are able to succeed financially, either in their existing places of employment or in some other capacity that uh, can at least get the bills paid. But no, make no mistake about it between the expenses of counseling, the expenses of hormones, the expenses of, uh, you know, doctor visits and potential SRS and facial feminization, surgery, breast augmentation, you better be prepared to be looking at upwards of fifty to $80,000 if you're going to do the full on, what I call the Cadillac of transitions and I'm always struck by the fact when I saw Missy Jen's upload on her transition that uh, you know she worked four jobs one two three four to aggregate the money to get her surgeries her breast augmentation to save the money because as many of you know in the United States we don't have you know government help when it comes to paying for our surgeries and things Girls in other countries, you are blessed, but the reality is you still have the emotional and other issues to deal with. You have to think things through carefully. It's easy to latch on to the idea and say, if you're a woman, I want to be a man. Or if you're a man, I want to be a woman. But take it down to take your thinking down to derivative thinking, the first derivative, the second derivative. Start thinking about what the reactions are to your actions. If you're going to have a uh, transition journey, you should do everything in your power to make sure that the winds are at your back, the tailwind at your back, and that you're not, fight, not fighting headwinds all the way. Think, 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 and when you're done thinking, think again. Okay, transitioning is one of the hardest journeys that a, uh, in the case of the girls, we would, we would tend to agree it's one of the you know, it's, it's just something that's fraught with peril and you have to go into it with your eyes open. I want you to succeed, but I want you mentally and physically healthy and happy. All right. Thanks for watching today.